Hello, I'm Niklas and today I want to show you how to build a windmill powered music box. So this is basically just a little windmill um, which has this kind of pulley system on it and this drives a music box so always when the wind is blowing you can hear some music. Here is what we need. It's a couple of 3D printed parts. Printing all those parts takes roughly one day. Then we are going to cut a few pieces out of plastic sheet. Um, you can use any kind of plastic for this. It's, it has to be three millimeter strong. I use quite often here for those uh, forex. So this is some sort of a, a PVC foam board. You could also use um, aluminum debond, um, but I want to use today uh, Coroplast. We had uh, just elections in Germany and there were a lot of election posters out there on the street and I want to recycle some of those um, election posters. Another thing that we are going to need is ball bearings, a few screws, a rubber band, um, some harder sheet material for a resonator. I thought to use this cutting board here for it. And of course, um, you're going to need a music box here. We can try this out. This is uh, one with Casablanca. Okay. Yo, let's start. First thing that we need is a template for cutting the boards. So here we have our printed out papers. And now we stick them together and for this we take a utility knife and a ruler and first we cut them. Okay, these are now the parts. They two go together. Five goes here, four goes here, six goes there. Nice. So now I cut out the sheet here. So this will be our wing that moves in the wind. We recently had elections and this here is the conservative party guy from our area. This funny guy here, this is Kevin from the Social Democrats. I like his smile. But will we see his smile? That's the question. If I cut it out like this here, we can see his smile. Okay, that's good. Or you could make it also like this here. <laughs> that's better. <laughs> that's more funny. And then I also have the orientation of this um, of the sticks in this material uh, in the direction of the of the wind. Okay, quite nice. So, a little bit bend it. Maybe I stabilize this even a little bit more. I will make this now. Now I guess I will go for, for this guy, probably for the other side. So what could we use here? We could use a big mouth and a big nose. Cool. So now I cut out all those center pieces. Ah, shit, 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 shit. Ah, shit. So 
So I want to fix this here a little bit, my cut piece, and I just use some barking tape for it because it looks cool. Yeah, like this, it's good. So again, this is now very strong because I used it double, but uh, you don't have to. If you use, here is a piece out of uh, Forex. If you use Forex, this is by itself strong enough here. And of course, you could also use something like this here. This is super strong. This is some um, deep bond material. There is plastic in the middle and aluminum on the outside. So, but that you would have to cut with a saw but this becomes really, really strong then. Okay. Ah, now I forgot that I have to drill all the holes. I'm also a bit stupid sometimes, huh? So next thing that uh, I have to do is I have to get those ball bearings in here and those ball bearing holders and uh, I like to do this at the vise because there I can just press this very parallel in there. I'll put this here and now you can see this goes nicely in there. So this is what I want to have. Okay, so these here, clip on that. Now this is a little bit more thick, this material, because of the tape that I've put around here. So, same on the other side. Here we need still some holes. Again, I take a 4.5 millimeter drill. The nuts go into this hexagonal hole here. These here go in here like this. So they go with the bearing inwards here. Again, I go for M4 by 20. I will use now all the same screws here because I don't mind if they stand out a little bit and it's usually simpler if you have always tried to have as many similar parts as possible. I will put some washers on this here. Since this is such a soft plastic, I want to distribute the force a bit, pressure. Okay, so let's come to those here. Um, you can either print this out six times and put it on your board material and just cut it out. Or what I've done, because I've made so many windmills, I have made a 3D printed template. So let's start here. Okay, good. So now we are going to screw this all together, make a little bit of space here. I'm going to use um, M4 by 20 screws. So the idea is that in those holes here go the nuts. Yep, they just drop in. 
and then you can see this probably. Can you see it? There is then a little thread. Okay, ta -da, beautiful A rotor with many eyes. I like it. So there is now one thing uh, still missing. We need a set screw. This is M3 by 20. And this goes in here. I can try this. Can I focus that here? Oh, do, 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 do. So you have basically the uh, on both sides you have the parallel sides, and this is how it goes down here. And it's the same here. This is the the, the parallel sides are on the outside, and then one corner of the hexagonal shape goes inside. So I push this down. So, and in the center we have a 4 mm hole and I have here a 4 mm axle. I can just push it through and try it out. Uh, it blows already, makes some wind. I can feel it. Nice. Okay, the same here. We also put in a set screw. Let's go stand here behind. I will get rid of the dirt here. Rotor is finished. Now, what else do we need? We need another set screw for this here, another set screw for that here. We can actually do this right away. But here, I also think that I have to open this a little bit up with a 2.5 millimeter drill. There goes in this, this little piece here first, little distance piece. Then there goes the rotor. Then there goes the aerodynamic thingy. Then it goes here in the back, slides all together, nice. Good. Can I push in? Right, and it's home. Now comes the resonator. the uh, music box here we should not put it here actually but we should make sure that this axis here is on that line on the center and what we also want to make sure is that we are going as much as possible outside here because this stick is not very long and there will go the pulley on it Those here have um, already threads in there and they're three millimeters. I will use three millimeter screws, but I want to make it a little bit larger so that it's easier to assemble. Mm -hmm. 
So this goes on here and as you can see this much larger this pulley here than the small pulley here which means that you have to or the wind has to spin the windmill the rotor a few times until this here is cranked once. It also means that uh, since this still takes a little bit of force here it's not not without any force it goes easier for the windmill to spin this. It's time to cut off the crank that goes very simple so we just leave it as long as possible and I just cut it off here. That's it. Crank is gone. There goes the pulley. Okay. Cool. Uh, now I use a couple of more of the small screws and Screw this here. Make sure that you make it so that the um, axle is here in the middle because if you turn this around then you're completely off center Oops, with the axle and then this all does not work. So make it on the correct side. And now this goes on the other side. So on one side we have this pulley. On the other side goes this pulley, let's see it from the top, something like this here. Yeah, and then they go through the hole. So this is where I will mount this now. Have I not been filming the whole time or what? These are the, the rubbers that I'm using. It's some Chinese stuff that I ordered on Amazon. These are driving rubbers. They don't really expand so much as normal rubber bands, um, but they are much sturdier, especially when you keep them <coughs> outside. In my experience, a normal household rubber band will break after roughly one or two weeks, while those here, they really last very long. So now the idea is oops, to adjust everything well here, so this goes a bit further inside here yeah. and now I don't really want to have much tension on this rubber belt because this all would take then more force to move the music box with some compressed air okay works so I'm quite happy how it looks like and now let's go outside and install this thing so my idea is now to put a little bit of super glue on the nut so people cannot remove it so easily Final touch. So now we need some wind. I will wait a little bit.